Hey, wow. this is Brennan with Goats Gaming, and we are here to do a deck profile. What did you do today? Uh, I got top eight at the OTS, at our local OTS, at our locals here. And uh, should be top four, but yeah, I'm a nice guy. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the profile. He's actually not the... I try. He tries. All right, so what did you play? Um, I played Counter Fairy Antimeta. It's a deck that I've been playing around with for a long time. I actually topped a regional with it before. And uh, very similar build, won the last OTS that was here as well. What I like to call it is counter eight. <laughs> yeah, this is cancer dot deck times like 18 million. Okay, very standard. Three false with Anna. Props for secret. Now this is where it gets interesting. Like, there's a lot of text in this deck. So three guiding Ariande. Makes your in scale effect is what you need it for. In scale effect, you don't pay cost for your counter traps, which I play a lot of counter traps in here that aren't normal. Like a lot of people won't play them because their their cost is too great. But with this on scale, it's amazing. So basically, he's a suck. Pretty much. Luster for for Ariande play. Pop search Ariande get a free counter trap scale pen summon one pretty broken. And just two barriers to choose. I played one water because. I honestly couldn't find my other wind, otherwise I'd play two wins. But um, yeah, they're both good. They're, you know what they do. Did you ever have trouble versus the speedroid engine with that? No, not once. If if they ever went to speedroid engine, actually at one point a guy went speedroid. He went terra top. He went talking tom and then he went into um, a totem bird. And I just strike the totem bird, and I was like, oh, okay. he should not have gone to totem bird. He should have just attacked. But you learn. Yeah, uh, spells. Cancer. Cancer. More cancer. Uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty cancerous. Well, come by. Search is that. I want to play two desires because if you play three, you're going to deck out. Like, I, I actually activate both of these all the time. He almost decked out versus me. We almost got there, boys. Yeah, um, I do this both of them all the time, so I think two is enough. Three is too many because if you open up with two of them, then you're not opening up into this. And this is a much better card. Um, yeah, yeah two, two's enough. And the instant for the, uh, or the sorry, the instant, the upstart for the last draw. So, nine draw cards. Nine draw cards. Sounds fun. Uh, D Fisher is a one of, just because if they're not getting into the graveyard, they lose. This is an instant win over Mermails, basically. And it's pretty solid against Zoo. It forces them to go into Giant to pop it. Uh, two of, last spell cards, Moon Mirror Shield. Clip this to a fossil dyna or clip it to a prairie statue and just win the, win the damn game. Oh, you attacked? Oh, yeah. sorry, dude. Phantom Knight's Wing. Okay, um, a lot of people are playing Sword. I disagree with Sword. There's plenty of reasons behind it because if you're equipped to say, say you equip Sword to a dyna, if they activate uh, Dark Hold, you activate Sword. Negate by sending it as cost to destroy, right? Now your monster does not gain 800, they could summon Thoroughblade and just attack over your Dyna and you basically lose because then they go into the place, right? Whereas if you go this, you go activate, give your monster 500, then you send this so it doesn't get destroyed, right? And Or sorry, it's not destroyed for once that turn. Um, then your monster remains at 700. So Dino will be 17, which is 100 over, and kill Thoroughblade, which is huge. Yeah, that's basically game at that point. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Solemn Brigade. Pretty standard. With Ariande, you don't pay cost for these. They're just free negates, which is godly. <laughs> No, this is the go-to card. This is better than Strike, Warning, any other card in the deck. With it. If you have Ariande scale and you have the set, you t tend to win a lot. Yeah, if he, if he, when he pops Ariane and he has Strike, yeah. and these, give, take the Strike, set the Strike. Give me the Strike. If I, if yeah. I search, when I search Strike 3, and people always give me this card because they don't read Ariande, and they don't pay attention, and this is a big reason why I this deck does work. I like every time, it won yeah. the game. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is this is the go-to. Like negate spells, negate traps, negate everything. It's counter trap. You don't pay cost. It's, it's broken. Yeah. Uh, three D bear, which makes this deck even better. No effects. Just deal with it. If you don't open up one of your your non-special summonings, you can just activate this and stun them for a turn until you get your card two and stop them from special summoning. Period. So yeah. 
Two storming. Now you need to play storming. Don't play any other <laughs> of this garbage because all the other ones get my bodied. They can get stopped with this and that or um, floating effect. Yeah, Starlight Road, floating, all that crap. This this is the go to card. This this is much better than anything else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hate. <laughs> Cursed Seal of the Forbidden One. Okay, now this is a spicy card. Um, basically, when your opponent activates a spell card, you have to you can activate this by discarding one of your own spell cards, and you negate that spell card, and you, the, your opponent can't use that spell card with the same name for the rest of the game. So, yeah, they say you're playing ABCs by the off chance. They activate Union Hanger, negate Union Hanger, destroy Union Hanger. They can't activate another Union or Hanger. Barrage the is or Barrage. Or Barrage. Yeah, Barrage is a better one. Yeah. Or in Invocation for the, all you new uh, Invoker players. Yeah, this. Plus, you don't pick Pops. All you new Scrubs. Bohos for life. Uh, Macrocosmos, because I laugh at people when they activate Grass is Greener. <laughs> Pretty much. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Benny's Emptiness, because it's broken. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll do side deck first. Side deck? Alright, cool. Uh, three Banisher. Just, it's, it's a solid card. Um, if, you're, if your special summons aren't a big thing, it's a 1600 beat stick that does well. It's, it's, a, it's a good card, it's a Banisher, right? Like, it's yeah. Macro Cosmos on legs. Uh, to deal with those zoo boards that I don't want to deal with. Shout out to Common. Yep, <laughs> had to hide that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, deal with those new boards, those big boards that you can't deal with. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Mine and Joe's favorite card of the weekend, apparently. Uh, twice? Twice today. I, I changed his appearance. Prince, I played a Murmur player. He saw it off me and called me. Yeah, I, same Murmur player that Joe did. I, I changed his appearance as Prince. Won me the game. It was freaking hilarious. I did it to a rat at some point during the day. I can't remember, but it was, it was awesome. This card's... Really, really good. Yeah, I think it's one of the better cards in the format. I agree. Um, Imperial Iron Wall, Infernoids. I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Even just lawn mowing, and they throw a bunch of decks in. Like you don't want them to remove for the extra stuff. Exactly. Uh, this this is a good card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for Ben Chalice. I like this card. Um, if by the off chance you summon your monster and you go Drancia, you and they already have a Drancia, you can just attack into it and then <laughs> Drancia the, or uh, Chalice them, and yeah. you'll kill it because it'll be it turns Drancia into a foreign attack monster basically. So that's pretty good. And double star that road. Now a lot of people know that you can't special summon the Star's Dragon, but you can also just negate, which is fine. Twin Twisters or Geki, people who want to get rid of your crap, they don't want to deal with it, and it stops them even more. But if you have the uh, wind barrier statue, you can actually bring out Stardust because he's a wind, and I've done that, and it's hilarious. It has good synergy. Okay, uh, extra deck. I did not play a full extra deck because I built the extra deck like three minutes before the before the OTS. But yeah, he's bad. Lightning, just because I don't know, Frank Force, and you'd be surprised. You actually can go into the, the extra deck quite often with Ariana. Yeah. Yeah. Stardust Dragon, make them plays. Cowboy for time. Honor Arc because it's funny. Abyss Dweller just on the off chance. Uh, Giant Hand, good negate. Castell to deal with problems. And Photon Paparazzi because I think it looks sexy as an ulti. And yeah, that's, that's the deck. So, what were your rounds for today? Round one, I played Blue Eyes. Uh, he was not ready at all. Yeah, I played a blue eyes player. He was not ready at all. I two owed him. wasn't even a that game. That deck can't do anything. Yeah, it, it legit. It couldn't do a single thing against my deck. I just summoned a monster, and he drew cards for four turns while I attacked him, and he just lost. It was pretty good. Game two, I played Metal Foes, and he was a lackluster player. He was okay, but he just he didn't make the right plays in the right orders, and he mis misplayed a few things. And it all can't be Joe. It happened. Yeah. I'm used to very high caliber uh, metaphor players, and I could see through his plays very easily. Um, I won that game 2-1. Uh, all right, no, I 2 owed that. And game three, I played Mermails. Uh, won that 2-1. That's where I changed his appearances, Prince, game three to win. It was hilarious. 
Um, game four, I played the uh, cameraman here, Joe. We game one, I opened the nuts and he managed to break through the nuts because apparently he likes holding said nuts. But you know, it happens. Um, game two, game two went into time. He's already went over it in the other video, but came down to um, to his myth really bouncing my last two back row to attack for game. And he had to choose one. He chose the other one. By I roll. didn't by, choose. I rolled by, a fucking dice. By dice roll. By dice roll. I know. Oh, never and I did. I he rolled wrong. wrong. I didn't roll wrong. He it rolled wrong. wrong. He sucks. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> bounce, suck. bounce my starlight roll. Bounce my starlight roll. Attack. He knows it's a mirror force. Mirror force bounce all his crap. We tie. It happened. Whatever. Game five or round five. I played. He's like, he had one card left in deck. <laughs> Round, yeah, one card. Done. Um, round five, I played Frogs. That that one pissed me off. Game one, he won dice roll, so he won. He just had he had answers for me that I just didn't have. It's a harder matchup for you. Yeah, it's yeah. Round yeah, like I said, game one, he won the dice roll, so I was expecting to lose. Um, game one, I went in. He he ended up winning it. He had a good back row. It happened. Um, game two. I go first, I open up the nuts, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. I double Dinah and a barrier statue with two back row, I can't remember what the back row are. And it's game, and he has nothing set, he has one card in hand, he draws his card, he, he regekis me, and goes swap frog, and then just goes off. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Whatever, top deck, top deck regeki, it happens. So Hashtag ga outplayed. Yeah, game three, I'm like, okay, he's gonna go first, I'm probably gonna lose. Sets one back row, sets one monster. I'm like, okay, I win. Screw that. I go off. I make a big board again. I summon. I summon Dinah. Set five. Ariande scale. Okay, big board. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Um, he gets onto a situation where he ends up top decking Regeki again to win on double Dinah when he has one or two cards in hand, and he top decks Regeki to win again. So I lost to that, which was kind of crappy, but it happened. So we go to top eight cut. Um, top eight cut. I had to play Kyle, which is uh, Jimmy Kyle. He's boring my deck, by the way. Bastard. Um, played him, and we the whole entire reason we came to this event was to get Kyle his invite. So I gave him the win. We played it out. I ended up winning, but whatever. We gave him the win. Hashtag team invite. Yeah. Hashtag team love. Kyle better love me. But gave him the win. So I should have top four and would have played it out from there, but you know, it happens. The guy that he played ended up winning, so it would have been interesting to see. But other than that, yeah, that was the profile, guys. Awesome. Thanks, dude.